As young minds walked into Jefferson Elementary School Wednesday morning, their parents looked on with heavy hearts. Saddens me uh, very much. I was actually kind of shocked. The realization sinking in that those little legs will be the last to walk the halls after the Kenosha Unified School Board voted late Tuesday to close six schools. Just having them start school and then realizing that it's going to close, that's pretty upsetting because they've already been through a lot of changes. Kenosha is among the largest districts in the state, facing a $15 million deficit and declining enrollment. We do have too many buildings uh, for the number of students we have, especially when we have buildings that are 50 to 60 percent full. The six schools are a small percentage of the district's nearly 40 schools, but residents who packed Tuesday's board meeting are taking it personally. They could have done a referendum years ago, and they've chosen not to. But instead, they just bulldozed right through it without consideration of the students and the families um, and the teachers that came to speak so passionately tonight. Um, so it is quite a knife in the back. I just think that a lot of families are going to be disrupted because of this. Transportation now a major concern for some parents who have their kids walk to school every day. They're now faced with finding a new school and a new way to get them there. It's going to be a big change and yeah, I'm sad for the families who are low income and that do not have transportation or the ability to get their kids to and from school. Logistics, parents are now left to figure out. In Kenosha, Madison Moore, WISN 12 News. The board voted to keep Ruther High School open with reduced staff and moved students from Washington Middle School to the Edward Bain School of Art and Language Building. The Kenosha superintendent tells 12 News enrollment hit its peak in 2011 at 23,000 students. He says enrollment now sits at 19,000, partly because families are having fewer children. It's an issue plaguing schools across the state. Just take a look at this chart from the Department of Public Instruction. Wisconsin schools have lost almost 49,000 students since 2018. That includes a 9,000 student drop from last year to this year.